Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. Before I get started, I just wanted to talk to you guys about something, and I want to know what you think. So, I've been on YouTube for a very long time, since October 25th, 2011, and I actually have an anniversary coming up. And I've been realizing that over the years, I have been limiting myself in what I design and what I share with you guys. So... Joy making is my passion, it's my love, it's my life. I live and breathe beads. And so, I've wanted to share more and more stuff with you guys, but I wanted to talk to you about this first. So, when I think of designing jewelry, what I really love is bead weaving. And I love the two needle bead weaving technique the most because I feel like I can create way more with that technique than I can with just one needle. And so, Bead weaving is very time consuming, especially with seed beads. And when I, and I'm doing all this work by myself, so when I come up with a design, it could take me a week to a week and a half, maybe even two weeks, depending on how big, how much work goes into design. So, like, I come up with a design, I figure out how much thread I need to make it, I figure out experimenting with bead sizes and shapes, um, what the pattern can can be and then I like to figure out beat alternatives for you guys because I know not everybody can afford or has a certain kind of bead you maybe have something else in your stash you can use instead and so I think of all this stuff and I try to think of you know and I do run into problems like something I'll have something break and I have to remake it a bead will break or thread will break that actually doesn't happen often usually it's the beads that breaks on me for some reason so anyways it could take me a week, a week and a half to two weeks to put a video up. And I kind of realized that I have been limiting myself, that I should not rely so much on just bead weaving. And through my whole journey of jewelry making, I have challenged myself in different ways. Like, I can remember when I first started getting into making jewelry, I didn't have the best quality stuff. I had a lot of, like, plastic, wooden beads, you know, stuff like that. And so I came up with this challenge that I didn't have the best quality materials, but I'm going to challenge myself, and I'm going to make some really awesome, gorgeous jewelry with the cheapest stuff that I have. And I did. I made some incredible pieces with really cheap materials. And I've been feeling really blessed because... I've been getting so many different bead subscriptions in the mail and doing videos with them and I have realized that these bead subscriptions have challenged me in a way that I've never been challenged before. So if you're new to my channel, what I do is I have these bead subscriptions come in every month. I open it up with you guys and I'd make a tutorial and I was actually really getting into that and I've kind of slowed down on doing tutorials on it and I think I'm going to get back into it but I'm going to challenge myself in a different way so anyways I would get these subscriptions in and I would try and stay with what's in the box and not use so much of my own stash because I wanted you guys to be able to make the same thing because a lot of you also like to get these bead subscriptions so anyways I would come up with a design using what's in the box and I would use basic things for my stash that everybody should have like fire line jump rings head pins you know a lobster claw class stuff like that basic stuff so anyways that was also really time consuming because I would get deep into bead weaving but um I realized that Right now, I really want to challenge myself with thinking out of the box and creating more new, different designs. I've always been like this. But um, I want to do more simple, easier things. Because sometimes I feel like I'm really hard on myself. I'm too mental thinking of, like, my mind is so complex with how I think of designing pieces that sometimes my pieces are a little too complex. So I want to challenge myself by making easier things, more simple things, which should be better for you guys too, because if you're new to this um, channel of mine, um, and you're not, have not done a lot of beating, you're probably going to want to do easier things anyways. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And I've been uploading some videos, and a lot of you have been commenting and saying some things to me that I've never really thought of before. Like, I did um, a video about where I get my chain at. I like to go to thrift stores and get my chains from purses, belts, and uh, clothing and stuff, and I use it for jewelry making. And I told you guys in that video how I feel like 
I've always loved doing that and I slowed down on doing that because I feel like I can't really use that stuff for my tutorials because chances are you're not going to be able to find the same exact things that I'm making but it is inspiring to you uh, for me to make stuff with that and a lot of you said that you would like to see me make jewelry with stuff that I get from the thrift stores and that made me really happy and it's kind of opening my eyes and I feel like I've been holding back and I'm not exploring being adventurous and so I think what I'm going to do and I've actually been thinking about this for a long time I'm going to start a series on my channel called Beat Adventurous or Beat Adventures? Beat Venture Beat Adventurous. That's it. And um it'll be episodes. It's gonna be like a little show and I will be doing little tutorials with things that I get from bead subscriptions, maybe doing organization ideas. That's something else I've really wanted to do. I've wanted to do more organizing videos. I just want to make clear that I will still be doing bead weaving projects. I'm not going to stop doing that. It's just that there is a time gap from when I upload a bead weaving project to when I upload my next one, which could be like a week that you guys aren't seeing any videos from me, that's when I will be doing the Bead Venturous videos in between my bead weaving projects. So I'll just take a break from working on a big project and go do something quick and easy with a bead subscription. Or maybe I'll do a video talking about organization because I have done, I've been beading for so long, I, I really felt like I have come up with really good, good organization ideas that I would like to share with you, which I've already shown you guys a lot of the organizational things that I've done, and I've got really good responses from it, but um, I would like to go more into that, and especially since where I bead at, I bead in the corner of my bedroom. I don't have a bead room like a lot of you might think I do. I have a very tiny space to work in, so I have to be very inventive and think of ways to store and hoard beads in places where they're not seen or places that are really tight and small so I have to be very compact with my bead storage. So, uh, Let me know what you think about this. I'm going to be starting a new series called Bead Adventurous. Bead Ventures. It's Bead Ventures. Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the piece I'm working on here. So I made these two necklaces using beads from Check Beads Exclusive Everything that I used here is pretty much from the box, except for the basic stuff, which is bead stringing wire, crimps, crimp covers, and this chain. Now this chain here, I'm recycling from a necklace. Do you guys know how you can like go to the department stores and you can buy a pendant that comes on a really thin chain. It's always like an 18 inch chain. Well this is what it is. And it has a, a spring ring clasp on it. So what I did is I took the spring ring clasp off and this chain is actually really well made. The links are all soldered shut. And I just took and put my bead string wire, come on camera focus, right there. I just put it through the chain then there's my crimp cover and I strung on my beads so what I used from the check beads exclusive box was three millimeter drugs these funny looking beads right here I don't know what they are they're not daggers they kind of look like a fang and there was a bunch of daggers in the box there's this white one with the polka dots and this blue one here so gorgeous and um there was these owls that I love to death. I got one in each color, a pink one and a blue one. I don't know if everybody got the same colors or not, but I ended up deciding to make these necklaces because these kind of look like feathers, you know? They're really cute, and again, I've been wanting to make more simple jewelry because I feel like I'm too hard on myself. I always have to make really complex things. And um, this one here has this large dagger and then this peacock dagger, the tiny one there, and I actually put some leaves in this one. There's four leaves. And I used the gold three millimeter drugs, and I just put the owl into a head pin. And um, I wanted to, what I was going to do, was put the chain on. Okay, I have the chain on here. And then I'm going to take and put this here through this end of the chain, and then crimp it. And then I was going to go like this, fold the piece in half, find center of the chain and then cut it 
and then I was gonna measure it and you know make it shorter probably like a 19 inch necklace I thought but then what I did is I put it on just like this so right now this chain is 17 inches long and the bead section I think it was seven inches long so this necklace is 24 inches long which is the length you need to slide over your head so I put it on at 24 inches and it actually looks really good and I'm very tempted to leave it like this because sometimes I don't like dealing with a clasp so this is an option for you you can make the same necklace and you can do with the class or without the class it's up to you and by the way there were other beads in the subscription that I could have used other than what I have right here um there was a lot of beads that I could have used in the center like I really love the owl and I felt like this looks like feathers but there was buddhas and there was that hand bead there were scarab beads in the box there was a lot of different things in the box that we could have used in place of here and if you don't get the box you could still make this necklace if you don't have three millimeter drucks you can use seed beads if you don't have daggers you can use teardrops if you don't have teardrops you can put beads on the head pins whatever shape bead you want it could be a teardrop bead that has a center hole instead of a side hole and you can make a necklace like this and have if you have a nice bead in your stash that's like you only have one of that would be your focal bead you put that onto a head pin and it's just this is just a really uh, dainty necklace and I feel like it's like really in right now with the trend of the dainty jewelry so let's go ahead and work on this if you would like to do the same bead pattern that I have in both necklaces you can go ahead and pause the camera here and this one I do have two different size daggers and then this one I only have one size dagger and I'm just going to go ahead and crimp this piece now since I already have it strung I am using a number one crimp tube by the way and I don't know what size my bead string wire is because I'm actually recycling it from another project so I'm just going to grab my chain here and run it down my between my fingers because I need to straighten it out. I don't need it to be twisted. And then I'm going to take my wire and pass it through the end of my chain. I really like this idea of using this chain this way because I've had this chain for a long time and I feel like it's a good way of using it. Okay, and then I'm going to pass back through the crimp tube here and I like to pass through about two inches of beads. In case, I have, in case I ever have to come in here and re make a repair or restring it. I talked to you guys about this in my last video. Okay, so just weaving this through. Let's see, where am I? Right here, that's good. Okay, that's where I stopped in my other one. It's actually about an inch and a half, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, I'm going to grab it like this. Let's see. I don't want it to be super tight. Tension's always very important when working with this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and curve this. I want to make sure, see how the beads are not um, moving? They're stiff. So that means it's too tight so I'm going to slide I actually need to slide my crimp down okay now everything see that everything's moving so right about there so I think I'm good just move this down a little bit I'm going to come in with the middle hole and use that to make my crimp oval because I'm trying to get my wires parallel to each other. I do have to bring a crimp cover in here so I always have to make sure that I keep space for that. Now I'm going to go to my spot in my pliers where I make the indentation. Okay, just like that. And I feel like I didn't squeeze it enough. It got out of my hand. Okay. Now I'm going to fold it. 
And I'm using a number one crimp, so I'm going to go to the middle notch right there, fold it, and then I go to the smallest, fold all the way, and I actually also like to just completely squeeze it right here in the chain nose. And there we go. So you can see the slack that I have right there. And when I cut this wire, I will actually have more slack because this wire is preventing it from sliding down all the way. But first, yep, looks good. I'm going to go ahead and put my crimp cover on. So I'm going to try this one on and decide if I want to make it shorter or not. If so, it's very easy to do. I almost have it. Sometimes when I close these, they don't close um, like side by side, meet up evenly. It'll close like at an angle. So I will have to actually go like this and slide the sides down, one up and one down, so they meet. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut this wire. And there we go. Everything is moving freely. The tension is perfect. This is so cute. I love these pieces. I hope you guys enjoy them too. This is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know what you think about my Bead Venturous video series idea. And if there's anything you want to see me do videos on, just leave me a comment down there below the video telling me what you would like to see me do a video on. And I also will leave a link, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, I will leave a link for this bead subscription in case you're interested in getting it for yourself. It's a Check Beads exclusive monthly subscription. I'll leave a link for it down there below the video in the description bar. And this is it. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Make sure you click the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And check me out on all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.